Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix this error with this not updating on Windows 11. I'll show you how to fix it. Try not to skip any steps. The first thing you want to do is run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. So in the search bar type in Settings. On the left hand side go to System and from System scroll down until you see Troubleshoot. And then from here click on Other Troubleshooters and from here you're going to see a Windows Update. Click run and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the troubleshooting process. Okay, after you have done that, uh, check for updates once again. Again, go to settings, Windows update on the bottom and check for updates here and attempt to install it once again. If you're still having problems, ensure you have enough disk space. So open File Explorer, you can see on your C drive, right click on it, go to properties. To see how much free space you have, you need at least 10 to 20 gigabytes of free space in order to install this update properly. Uh, if you don't have enough free space, you can go to disk cleanup and uh, you, it will recommend uh, to clean up system files or caches or something like that and that should free up some space. Okay, if you have still done that and it still isn't working, let's move on to step number three. So step number three is to restart the Windows Update Services. How do you do that? Uh, from here, type run. And from here, type uh, services.msc and hit enter. And this will show you the services that are running. You want to find three different services from here. Uh, Windows Update right here. What you want to do is uh, right click it, stop it, and then right click it again and start it to restart the service. So you want to do that with Windows Update, Background Intelligent, Background Intelligent Transfer Service, and Cryptographic Services, this one right here. So again, stop it and restart it. Then after you have done that, again, go to Settings, Windows Update, Settings, Windows Update, check for updates and try to update once again to see if that fixes the issue. If it still is not fixed, what do you do? Okay, you can download this update manually and try to install it manually. Go to, I believe it's a catalog.update.microsoft Windows 11. And here is a catalog of all the updates. Find the appropriate update for this one. Uh, this would be KP50. I believe it's this one here uh, and you click download it and then uh, save it to your computer. Double click the downloaded installer, follow the props and restart your computer. Okay, the next step is to check for system file corruption. How do you do that? Go to search, type in CMD, right click on this, hit run as administrator. And from here, uh, there's two different commands that you want to use. The first one is uh, SFC sp uh, space slash scan, now all one word, hit enter. And after this is finished, that will take some time. I don't want to wait, so I'm going to restart it. Uh, but after that has finished, type in DISM online, clean up image, restore health. And uh, that will uh, basically clean up any kind of corrupted files on your computer. When it asks you to reboot your computer, then say yes and reboot your computer. Okay, after you have done that and it still isn't working, I would recommend you to uninstall third-party antivirus software if you haven't and do a clean boot. How do you do a clean boot? Again, go to run, go to uh, system config, uh, I'm sorry, MS config. And from here, go to uh, services. And from here, uh, go to hide all Microsoft services and click disable all. Then from the startup, open task manager and disable all of the startup apps that aren't necessary one by one by clicking disable. Then after you have done that, reboot the computer and try to install uh, the update once more. If you are having a blue screen of death or system crashes, what do you need to do? You need to boot into safe mode. 
Usually that's F8 or F11 during startup and select safe mode. Go to settings, Windows update, Windows history on un uninstall the update. So you go to settings, Windows update, update history, and you can click on uninstall update. And uh, that should roll back the issue uh, if you're having it. If none of this is working and you're still having problems with it, I would recommend going to advanced options from this page. Go into recovery and reset PC and keep my files on this PC. Um, this will take a couple of hours to do and it's kind of annoying to do it, but it will almost certainly solve this issue. Okay, if this video helped you, leave the video a like and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day.